Welcome. In this lecture, we will discuss the various things which were discussed in the Down to Earth edition. One of this was transfer of forest knowledge to young in the Nayagar district of Odisha. The most interesting idea is the kutir, the jungle kutirs which would be established. The idea would be the women would educate the youth about the various fuel woods, herbs, shrubs, and the areas, the villages where this would be done. The list of the villages have been mentioned here. The next interesting is in the Brazil, uh, the presidentship has changed to Lula. da silva and the main thing is now the amazon restoration would again begin uh, this is the third tenure for lula's win and the idea is uh, the previous green record has brought him back here the rainforests are now emitting more carbon than being a carbon sequestration region uh, there has been a increase in illegal mining poaching and land seizures and this would be significantly was significantly che checked during his tenure uh, at that time the amazon deforestation drop by 67% and we hope this would come back in the future the next is weather shocks which lead to policy reforms and changes now it is one of the finding that one standard deviation rise uh in the temperature leads to 19% decline in the finances which are received by the developing nations and 1% increase uh, would lead to increase in the finances by 14% in case of Uh, the natural disasters which is again a huge uh, bit on the developing areas the next is ukraine's energy crisis now ukraine's um, energy reasons have led to uh, import of the european countries being dependent on ukraine now ukraine was forced to stop its energy exports as a result the european union nations are facing severe energy crisis due to limited supply from russia during the winter france sweden finland slovakia have talked to their citizens to reduce or to make rational use of electricity and also countries like germany italy and greece have announced that their coal plants would remain open in order to uh, combat this issue the next is one of the findings has said that covid-19 can lead to neurodegenerative disease which can come up many years after the covid outbreak and this would be impacting in the form of alzheimers or parkinsons and this would be appearing without any external symptoms for many years a uh, valley of flowers um in uttarakhand has now turned to valley without flowers and that's because it is losing its floral diversity the number of trees are growing and as a result uh, the the flowers which can be grown are reduced this is located at a height of nearly 3600 meters in an area of 67 square kilometers in chamoli district was added in the un heritage list in 2005 the river which flows through it is the pashupati river there has been maximum abundance of flower which was seen in the regions of uh, july to september and uh, there was a ded dedicated website uh, built for it however now there are numerous tall grasses which are growing uh, there are various Um, uh, diversity, the biodiversity is reducing. Uh, botanist Frank Smith wrote in a book which was released in 1938. This book was called as Valley of Flowers, and since then this name has stuck to this valley. Uh, as we said, there have been increasing number of trees, mudslides, landslides have increased, and also uh, there has been a dominant purple balsam flowers which are seen in the foreground. The white Himalayan knot. weed flowers are visible only in most parts of the valley now the next is burp control now a very interesting finding is the ruminants have four stomach uh, and one of the stomach which helps in digestion is actually releasing methane which is the second most abundant uh, greenhouse gas in the atmosphere after carbon dioxide the amount of warming that a methane can cause is 30 times more and has a uh, has a period of nearly 12 years for which it survives in the atmosphere so reducing this methane emission in the atmosphere is important now these these ruminants uh, their diet checking is very important because these my, the microorganisms which are uh, present in the gut of the ruminants actually break down the food the cellulose rich pigment which is broken down release protein energy and uh, in turn also methane into the atmosphere as a result of enteric fermentation now what is important is the a uh, supplement so there is a supplement made of indian cherry elm leaf garlic mustard cotton seed na sodium nitrate and magnesium sulfate which is stimulate the growth of beneficial bacteria and can reduce the amount of methane which is emitted uh, also there are leaf uh, 
compounds which are saponins and tannins which reduce the archaea population and reduce the hydrogen supply which is required for processing into methane so carbon dioxide and hydrogen would uh, combine to form the methane and reducing the archaea population uh, by the use of saponins and tannins is one example now seaweeds is another uh, option but the thing is that smell of the seaweed the the odor is not liked by the ruminants and therefore uh, the uh, the ingestion becomes difficult so there is a fine grain powder which is in the form of bovair which provides essential enzymes responsible for methane production also red algae which is the asparagus taxiformis and uh, seaweed zonaria phyllo which is a uh, brown um seaweed both of them are responsible for the same there are various uh, other issues for example seaweeds which can reduce the amount of uh, methane stimulant in the body of ruminants on the other hand also inhibit the release of greenhouse gases through two chemicals which are bromoform and bromochloromethane both of them can induce cancer uh, now these re the residues of these chemicals have been detected in the milk and the urine of the sea fed cows and therefore this has become again an important concern so there are various um, things which have to be taken into account but yes methane emission from the ruminants is a big concern the next is distress migration the internal migration has increased by 216 million people moving within the country by 2050 and over the time this uh, migration would increase there has to be an adaptation tool which must be released and loss and damage must be checked again there is life under threat uttarakhand 484 villages uh, have been threatened by natural disasters and they have have been warned for rehabilitation of those villages prior now in 2011 uh, uttarakhand became the first state to have a policy to identify villages which are at the risk uh, and to roll, relocate them to a safer location now these rehabilitation is mainly from three of the villages uh, which uh, three of the districts which are uh, pithoragarh chamoli and uttarkashi where nearly 65% of these villages are seen the next is indian railways a net zero plan emission Now here Indian Railway is the fourth largest railway network which aims to become net zero carbon emitter by 2030 uh, we are trying to go to 100% electrification and uh, depending mainly on non renewable sources by 2030 so making 100% electrification by 2023 and going to 100% uh, going mainly to renewable non renewable uh, sources by 2030 is one of the major objectives now uh, there has been increase in the right uh in the railways from 35% to 45% the number of railway tracks have increased and therefore the energy consumption has increased however despite of the increase in the energy consumption we have seen that the diesel consumption has reduced from 3000 million liters to only 1000 million liter which is a significant mark and this has been made possible through electrified routes now electrified routes have increased the throughput and also uh, the broad gauging areas have seen a uh, very high number of electrification only less than 20% of the broad gauge areas are non electrified now but as we have seen the projected use of the railway electricity is sought to increase from 21 billion units to 72 billion units which is again a huge number and for that we aim to go to re uh, renewable sources of energy and we aim to go mainly towards solar and wind as one of the major uh, energy sources till august 2022 the installed uh, renewable energy capacity was only 245 megawatts which we aim to increase to 30000 megawatts uh, now there there has been a hybrid project at dahod in gujarat to provide a solar plus storage hybrid project and also 700 stations have become iso 14 14001 uh, uh, compliant which means they are in line with the environmental management systems and have green certification for 31 railway buildings and 32 stations which is again a good uh, number mustard the ntgm the genetically modified activists have opposed the move where the genetically modified mustard dhm 11 has for the first time been cleared now this is dhara mustard hybrid 11 which is grown in open fields and there this would be the commercial first gm food crop in india now uh, once it is approved this would be the only crop which is approved by the bt after the bt cotton 
so how the road for clearance happen this is a uh, given timeline the next is uh, there is uh, the asha which is alliance for sustainable and holistic agriculture an alliance for organization to improve the livelihood uh, there have been uncertainties over the approval of gm mustard and therefore uh, there have been various um, uh, associations now uh, mustard honey is again one of the very uh, popular honeys which is exported to us and european union and this export has seen nearly uh, most of the honey uh, which is exported would be under the non gmo verified program uh, therefore a G uh, the gm mirage is important the genetically modified mirage and a hybrid crop may show nearly 4 to 5% superiority uh, the next is restoring by use uh, now green revolution of 1960s pulled india from the brink of starvation uh, transforming the country's ability to feed and therefore india is one of the big biggest extractor of ground water as per one of the recent reports we are also going through uh, the rice wheat and maize uh, over the past year and the agriculture pattern needs to be changed there has to be a state of food security which must be brought and chemical less farming uh, is another important practice now again there are certain crops which are water intensive so we also need to promote agriculture on numerous lines for example we aim to reduce the uh, the chemical fertilizers and pesticides lower the input cost uh, cost have uh, regenerative agriculture and therefore bring in better availability the next is the icar which is the indian council for agricultural research at delhi specializing in organic farming has focused on uh, the various topics like natural inputs multi cropping Uh, native varieties and conducting studies for organic farming uh, there is one very good example of kheti virasat mission which is a civil service uh, like a civil society organization which conducted a survey of more than 350 organic farmers and uh, brought in uh, developments it replaced the various water guzzling crops like uh, wheat paddy sugarcane with less intensive crops like gram and chickpeas uh, saving a lot of time also zero budget natural natural farming which is also known as the subhash parlekar natural farming aims to uh, bring in inputs from the crop residue itself from cow dung from cow urine from the compost which is made from uh, fruits and vegetables uh, samaj uh, pragati sahyog is again an organization in madhya pradesh aiming for natural a growth and development similarly is wasan which is watershed support services and activist network based in hyderabad so those are some of the interesting uh, developments that we have seen uh, regarding the uttarakhand valley of flowers as we discussed uttarakhand landslides are again a big cause of concern so uttarakhand disaster 2013 report was published by the national institute of disaster management and identified the issue of flash floods in uttarakhand one of the major reasons was unplanned uh, cons- construction and uh, creation of hydroelectric projects dams and so on so uh, these what the these major floods have increased uh from just four major floods in 1989 to 99 period to 22 which is a significantly high number now this has harmed the vegetation the the flora and the fauna and has also led to concerns for rehabilitation so doppler weather weather radar systems can actually analyze these conditions and take these issues into a more serious way there have been um uh, various other uh developmental uh, areas where we need to focus for example in haryana uh, for the first time 50% of the seats were reserved for women and mandatory education for all candidates was made uh, one of the ideas so this was passed under the haryana panchayati raj act 1994 education was the central theme and this amendment was brought later to bring in uh, more people more women and more disadvantaged group so nuhu rotak jhajar observed significant increase in women participation so nuhu which falls in the mewat area is considered as one of the most backward areas uh, and beyond everything this has shown a significant increase in uh, women participation also increase in the education of the bride and the groom before marriage so this amendment act has definitely brought education and women on the forefront uh, various fake certificates which were uh, utilized for election and politics purpose were checked uh, 
the next is expansion so we have seen that the forest areas have been expanding significantly more than 1000 square kilometers have been added in four north north is northeast states of nagaland meghalaya manipur and arunachal pradesh uh, the forest falls under three uh, categories reserve protected and unclassified reserve is where the maximum protection occurs unless permitted by the forest department protected is where there is limited activities which are allowed and certain activities are prohibited unclassified is which is not uh, recorded in the forest area but is also not part of the reserve or the protected area the next is community reserve which is added to the wildlife protection act through the amendment of 2002 this talks about the buffer zones and the migration corridors and also focusing on the required areas now uh, we talk about the chief uh, wildlife warden which focuses on these issues and the community reserves by government is one of the major efforts in this direction to bring a huge area under forest cover so there can be budgetary efforts on the same side as well uttar pradesh government has announced a new electric vehicle manufacturing policy to 2022 which creates a good atmosphere for generation and manufacturing of electric vehicles in uttar pradesh goa government has also facilitated a similar move for agricultural products and marketing fees would be paid by the buyers of the agricultural produce and the livestock uh, the next is the global multidimensional poverty index 2022 there are nearly 1.2 billion people across 111 countries which live in the category of multidimensional poverty and they have seen a huge problem with regards to water schooling electricity now uh, what are the issues that are taken into account so child mortality attendance assets green, uh, drinking water number of years a child spends in school electricity nutrition sanitation housing and cooking fuel are some of the major uh, ideas that are taken into account recently uh, we have seen a spike in the cases of respiratory syntactical virus rsv in children nearly 8000 cases have been uh, reported in united states Uh, no vaccine is there as of yet but there is a company pfizer which is trying to work on the same china has launched its first laboratory module to complete its tiangong space station mission uh, which would allow the uh, astronauts to do research on the subjects like dark matter and energy uh, the next is Uh, the Timorian Sea indigenous people, which is one of the community of Indonesia, are uh, would be declaring uh, the sue for the Australia's ownership for two oil-rich islands that lie between the uh, the territories. Uh, so those are some of the interesting uh, things that we have discussed, and similarly. Uh, restriction of the use of glycophosphate which is a widely used herbicide uh, for health hazards is taken into account and this is um, uh, important to understand the cancer reproductive immunological and developmental disorders uh, this herbicide is affecting it and tea plantations have been using it widely so those are some of the important topics that we have discussed in this edition uh, if you have any questions feel free to post those in the comment section and also the handouts for these would be available on exam race current affairs sections for free so don't miss those practice those study well the links are available in the description wish you good luck